Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. One of two things are happening right now. Either Matt's channel has been hacked by a girl, or this is really Matt and this is my persona on the weekends. my name is Brittany Lesser and as you guys can tell I am NOT Matt Does Fitness and I do not have an accent even though I just tried and that was probably really bad and embarrassing <laughs> and I don't have any funny jokes and I can't squat like 600 pounds so we figured we would do a fun little swap he's gonna do a full day of eating on my channel and I'm gonna do a full day of eating on his channel and it would be a good switch up because I'm sure you guys really enjoyed seeing Matt's meat and you guys always see him eat glorious food I know I watch his channel and I'm always like I wish I could eat that but some of us <laughs> unlike Matt, are counting macros and maybe are cutting or in a fat loss phase like I am. I am currently carb cycling as well. So when Matt first asked me to do a full day of eating, I was like, oh my god, I am on a low carb day and it's going to be really embarrassing because you probably eat more in one meal than I do the entire day. So it would be a good switch up and I could show you guys some good meals that you can make if you are on lower macros or you know if you do count your macros I will hopefully inspire you guys for some more volume and low calorie meals so I hope you guys enjoy this full day of eating and please if you enjoy it then head over to my channel it's just Brittany Lester I'm sure Matt will have the link below and you can join me there and you'll notice that I'm really weird but I do lift or do I I don't know we'll see a little bit about me if you guys do not know who I am I am a personal trainer I am also a bikini competitor Matt does not compete in bikini competitions and I do not power lift I train mostly for bodybuilding I do some heavy lifting which is obviously not as heavy as Matt because let's be real he is a beast but I try <laughs> So I do lift some heavy sh poop. Can't curse on that channel. I do lift heavy-ish for me, but I do workouts and recipes and vlogs and full days of eating. So just get into the food because that's what's most important, as always. Okay. <laughs> so for my first meal, I am going to make some protein pancakes, which I have not made actually in quite a while. So this should be interesting. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. <laughs> this is just gonna have some protein in it, some pumpkin for all you basic girls watching or basic guys because it's fall. Let's be real. Pumpkin everything, right? Right? Yes. Okay, so it's gonna have some pumpkin, some protein powder, coconut flour, some egg whites, and then we'll top it with some sugar free syrup. These pancakes are not your typical pancakes. They're gonna be a lot fluffier and like lighter, I guess, or like airier <laughs> because there's not too many ingredients and it's a lot of pumpkin, but they have really good macros. And for me, I personally like to eat majority of my carbs pre and post workout. So my other meals are lower in carbs. So for today, and it's a low carb day, so bear with me people. So. This meal is not gonna be high in carbs. It's only like 25 carb, which is good if you are on poverty macros. So I got you guys if you are cutting and crying. Maybe I'm the only one who bulks during the summer and cuts during the winter. I don't know why I do this, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So. I am going to go to the gym soon, but pre-workout I need food. So one of my favorite things to make is a like homemade chipotle bowl kind of. And 
you know, everyone's obsessed with Chipotle. I think it's okay, but I can make it just as good at home. So it's a good filling meal. Okay, so here is the finished product. I just have some iceberg lettuce in there, 35 grams of corn. I have tempeh, which is a soy-based product, and I kind of just fried it in the fry pan yesterday. And then avocado and refried beans. And if you have watched my channel, you know I'm obsessed with Mexican food, so this is my go-to homemade little chipotle bowl. But the good thing is you can make it however you want. If you want to add rice and beans and cheese and homemade guacamole or whatever, it is up to you. <laughs> and the macros for this is 32 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein, and 13 grams of fiber. What's up guys, so I just got back from the gym and a little background on how I train. If you know anything about bikini competitions, basically it's all about the delts and the glutes. <laughs> so a typical bikini girl fashion, I worked glutes today. And now I'm gonna have my post-workout meal. So I tried to make a protein smoothie into like ice cream consistency, but first I had no bananas. And then second, my blender sucks and it was like broken or not working so I just had a little snack and it's something that I eat all the time when again I am on poverty macros rice cakes and PB&J so I use the nuts and more protein peanut butter with low sugar jelly and that should hold me over until dinner I feel like I should have done this entire video with a British accent dinner one good thing about having a smaller post-workout snack is that you get to have a bigger dinner with more macros so right here I have 3.2 ounces of Atlantic salmon just 100 grams of plain asparagus this is a cauliflower mash recipe that I got on my friend Amanda and Emily's YouTube channel I will link them below probably on my channel I'm sure I'll mention this in my next vlog if you guys tune in so this just has parmesan cheese spray butter and almond milk and then right here is kabocha squash which is basically a japanese pumpkin and it is another low calorie high volume food and it saves me when it when cutting because it's similar to sweet potato in the sense that it's like denser and more filling so Yes, it's amazing. And this is the dinner. Okay guys, so for my last meal, I typically always have a meal before I go to bed and my absolute favorite thing to make is a microwave protein brownie. I've showed this on my channel basically like every full day of eating that I make because it's that good and the macros are bomb. So basically all you're going to need is protein, baking powder, and almond milk and then some sweetener if you want it. And that's it. You mix it together, you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and you top it with whatever you want. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that and I figured I would share the goodness with you guys it's just like a dessert and I like to put chocolate chips on it and then top it with my all-time favorite peanut butter Done. not cooking it too long 
because then it gets like warm and gooey like a real brownie and it's good and the macros for this brownie is three grams of carbs one gram of fat and 26 grams of protein without the chocolate chips and without the toppings but of course you want to add the toppings to make it even better okay so i tend to unintentionally hoard my fat macros until my last meal but i'm not complaining because that means more peanut butter and i topped my protein brownie with two different types of peanut butter because i'm a girl and i'm indecisive and i want two different kinds so that's what i did here i am gonna enjoy this before i go to bed and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this full day of eating and this little swap that me and matt did and if you want to head over to my channel and subscribe that would mean the world to me i would love to have you guys over there and hopefully i'll see you guys on my channel bye